Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 10 onto an Acer computer. To do that, I'm using a Windows 10 install media USB that I created for myself for free off the Microsoft site. If you guys want help showing you how you can do that, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description, showing you that video, how you can create it for yourself. If for some reason you can't create your own or you prefer to purchase it, make sure you get install media and not recovery media. I'll have my Amazon store link below in the description as well. You can see some examples of the correct item to get. So to start the project, power down your computer, make sure that it's off, but make sure that it's plugged into your charger. If your computer loses power during this install process, it could definitely mess it up. You'll have to start all over again. And if you have any data on there that you're trying to save, you may lose it. And last thing to get out one of the most common FAQs to this process, I'm using this install media USB because the computer does not have a functioning operating system currently on it. If your computer does have a functioning operating system prior to Windows 10, there's a much easier way to do this. You can usually go to the website, uh, select update now, and it will update you without having to use the USB. If you need help with that, there'll be a video link below in, in the description, or you could leave me a message and let me know what's going on. But again, power down the computer, make sure it's off, and we'll start the install process. So I have my Windows install media USB plugged into my computer. I'm gonna hit power button, and then I'm gonna start tapping on F12. As a quick side point here guys, some of you will get right into the menu after hitting F12, some of you may not. Uh, maybe your model uses a different function key. If F12 doesn't work, try your other function keys. But some of you may not have F12 work because that option is turned off in BIOS. So real quick, for those of you that can't access F12 and you need to go into BIOS and turn that option on, I'll show you how to do that right now. And immediately start tapping on F2. Now to navigate BIOS guys, there are many different versions of BIOS. So some of you may have the use of your mouse. Some of you may have to use your arrow keys or tab keys or enter keys, but find out how to get around in, in your BIOS. If you can't find out how to get around, try plugging in an external USB mouse um, or an external keyboard and that should help you out. But I'm gonna use my arrow keys. I'm gonna arrow over to the main tab. And then here, F12 boot menu is disabled. I'm going to arrow down to that. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to arrow down to enabled and hit enter again. So now I'm going to go down here F10 save and exit. I'm going to hit F10 to save my changes and then I'm going to confirm yes. And then I'm going to start tapping on F12. And that gets me into my boot manager. So right here you see Windows Boot Manager or USB. So I'm going to come down to the USB because I want to boot off that in order to access my install media. I'm going to arrow down to my USB and hit enter. And there it goes. Now this will be the first screen where you have to make some choices here. And again, if you can't navigate around, plug in a USB mouse. That's what I'm using right now is I couldn't get around so I had to plug in my mouse. But I'm gonna take you through these options so you can see how to finish up the install. So I'm gonna come down here and hit next, and then install now, and the process will start. Here's just some TNCs, we're gonna hit I accept, hit next. Um, and this is another choice you have to make. So for my situation, I'm getting this computer ready for resale. So I want to delete everything on it. I want it to be a brand new computer. So I would come down here to custom install Windows only advanced. And this is where if you read this description, it's gonna erase everything. If you guys are installing and you want to save your files, assuming your hard drive is good, assuming the data is good, again, I don't know your exact situation, but assuming your files are good and you want to save them, you would choose this top part here, install Windows and keep file settings and applications. So you would go that route. I'm going to go this route, but a lot of the options afterwards are going to be the same. So I'm going to hit the bottom. And then again, because I'm deleting everything, uh, those of you that chose the top option, you won't have to do this, but because I'm deleting everything, I'm gonna click on each partition one at a time, and I'm gonna delete everything. Because I don't want any restore points, I don't want any data, 
I want to delete everything. So I'm gonna go all through my partitions, delete everything until I'm left with unallocated space. So click on it and hit next, because that's where we're gonna install Windows. And then the actual install process will start. So here's one of those times that it needs to reset. I'm just going to hit restart now. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for... So now the install process is almost done. You may hear that audio kick in depending on how new your computer is. I just muted it uh, so it doesn't interfere with the tutorial. Uh, but that audio will walk you through the rest of the install process. So mine is set to United States, that's what I want. I'm going to hit yes. Uh, keyboard layout US, again I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to skip adding a second keyboard layout, so I'm going to hit that. And then let's connect you to a network. Um, it's up to you guys. You can connect to a, a Wi-Fi network here. Um, but if you do, it's going to make you um, enter in your Microsoft account information and, or it'll make you create a Microsoft account. So I, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to choose I don't have internet and I'm going to keep going. But if you guys want to sign into your Microsoft account, this is where you'll sign into your Wi-Fi and then continue. And then because I chose that, it, it's asking me to double check. I can either connect to internet now or I can continue with limited setup, which I'm gonna do. Uh, who's gonna use this PC? I'm just gonna name it Acer. Create a password. I'm gonna skip this part and hit next. Again, because I'm getting this computer ready for resale, but you guys would do any, any of these options that you want to. I'm going to go through and turn all of these off. I don't like giving free data to people. Um, I'm just going to hit accept that. You guys can do what you want. Uh, here, I'm going to hit not now. I'm trying to get this computer cleaned up and as fast as possible for resale. So I'm using as many of those add-on options as possible. So now we're at a working Windows 10 desktop. The install process is done, good job. Uh, one thing to shout out though guys, this is a brand new copy of Windows. So there's gonna be a lot of driver updates, security updates, system updates, a lot of updates you wanna run. And what's gonna happen for the next few days, maybe even a couple weeks, is these updates are all gonna process in the background as you're using the computer. You may definitely see some lag with your computer. So if you're like me and you wanna get all those updates processed manually right away, just get them all done with, there'll be a video link above also below in the description, it'll show you how to process all those updates manually right away. But that's the video, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please remember to like. Uh, you can also subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer content like this. And for those of you who wanna support the channel a little further, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right-hand side, you'll see the super thanks button, you can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.